Welcome back, my lovely Scorpios. Hope you're doing good. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. You would like the energy, you would like the vibe. Feel free to like and subscribe. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Let me see. Oh, Chung, what is the overall energy for Scorpio here? What else? Somebody's in hermit mode here thinking a lot. A lot, a lot. It's coming on the fence. Somebody here is thinking out, oh, and this came, the, ma the magician came out of reverse. Somebody here is thinking very much. Somebody here is in hermit mode. They don't stop thinking and thinking and thinking about a situation here that's going on. You know, you're thinking about somebody a lot. It's like there's a lot of, like, energies around this person. And I feel like this person, you know, has multiple people and I'm picking up three people that they've been with, but they're thinking about somebody. But I also think that you're in hermit mode because you're thinking about the situation and I feel like intuitively you're picking up or this was, might be the past that you left this person already. But I feel like intuitive, intuitively you're picking up this person thinking about another person. This person has many options, but not they're not looking at you. They're not they're not looking at you and what you're giving or what you're providing or what you're doing for them. They're looking at somebody else. And I feel like they're gonna move forward to that somebody else. Okay, I feel like what you were trying to manifest here for some reason went wrong. Here, Scorpio. Somebody might be throwing magic at you. Somebody might be manifesting something towards you. Somebody might be, you know, and it could be this problem even, you know, you worrying about this person. Or whatever they did to you because sometimes when you worry too much about what a person is doing to you and you're you know in that in that energy whatever you're trying to manifest for yourself to move forward it just blocks it you feel me but somebody here and i feel like it's you scorpio you're thinking a lot you're worrying a lot you know you're trying to see how you you know you make your next move what are you going to do next but manifesting it has twisted over because i think it's this person that's trying to stop you and i feel like it's somebody you're dealing with or you were dealing with somebody that you know was stand is standing like the king of wands somebody very controlling somebody that is in their power somebody that's very confident in what they do and what they say and how they approach everything including you and i feel like you've been controlled a lot by this person and it has you on hermit mode it's like i feel like the energy looks like you know you do your things, you go around, you work, whatever it is, take care of the kids if you have kids. You know, you do your daily things, but it's like you're almost like even daydreaming when you're doing things. You're daydreaming about what this person's doing, what you could do better for yourself, manifesting things, but this person not letting you manifest. This person is not letting you manifest what you want to manifest. You feel me? And a lot of things here are going wrong because of this energy. Hold on a minute. Oh, Chun, what else here for my Scorpios? You want to move forward, Scorpios. You want to move forward. You want new things. You know, you want to move forward, whatever it is. You know, it could be, you know, a new person. It could be just places, things. It could be anything because you've dodged a lot of things with this person. This person, you know, what I'm picking up here is this person, you know, if, you were, if you're related to this person, you know, like in a commitment or you were committed to this person, this, beca this person became your enemy at some point. This person put you through hell. This person has abused you mentally and physically. This person dodges everything. Whatever you say to this person, whatever you question this person about, whatever you try to even ask this person, it's like a whole big fight. You know, and I feel like this person is dealing with somebody else. They're dealing with multiple people. I mean, they deal with a lot of people, but there's one in particular this person wants to jump over to. I feel like there's a mistress here for somebody or if you're a man, there's somebody that, you know, they have very well in mind to be with. And I feel like intuitively somebody's picking it up and some of you are not picking it up. But manifesting your things over to stability, success, whatever it is, abundance, whatever it is, is stopping for you because this person is making it stop. You're too much into your head. You need to get out of your head because you're overthinking and overthinking and overthinking things that you don't stop thinking about what to do next, what to jump over next, what, you know, you know, to move forward to because your manifestations are not working. They're stopping. They're blocking. This person is blocking your every single 
manifestation you got going on. I feel like whatever you want to do, whatever you want to jump to, this person tells you to stop. If you're dealing with this person now, it's a very controlling person. It's a person that's putting you through hell. And you're trying to deal with this person, but they're putting you through hell because you want to jump over and do new things. And you want to, you know, do other things. You even want to leave this person, but this person is very controlling. I feel like you're scared of this person, Scorpio. And if this is the past, you were dealing with this person, and I feel like if it's the past, you hog ass out of there real quick when it was a time that, you know, for you to hog ass. Because this person, I feel like this person is physically abusive to you, and I feel like they were physically abusive to your kids, if you have kids, even your siblings. I mean, this person is very dangerous, is what I'm picking up here. This person does not know how to control their anger. You feel me? And they're trying to... Whatever you manifest, they flip it over. They malice you with their tongue. They evil eye you. They tell you, you're no good. You're not going to make it. You're not going to do this. You're not going to do that. It's like a person that's very, very fucking, you know... Oh my God. It's a person that's very fucking abusive mentally. You know? There's physical abuse here. This person has physically abused you, but their mental abuse is worse than the physical abuse. My God, they have no empathy for you. What the fuck? Well, Chung, what else for this person? For um, this person, my Scorpio is here. Let's come out of the fence. Celebrations and parties are over. Like, whatever you were doing with this person, the good times, you know, there was a, there's a lot of judgment here from this person. And I feel like you've been trying to communicate. I feel like you've been trying to do your own thing. I feel like you've been trying to, you know, meet up with friends and have friends or whatever it is. And this person has a problem with everything. This person is most definitely juggling the fuck. And they're, they're ready to move on. This person, if you don't move on, they're going to move on. But even when moving on, they're going to cause you a lot of stress, a lot of grief, a lot of chaos. It's like this person is a whole destructive energy. You've been trying to do your own things with family, with friends, with whoever. And it's like this person is in control of every move you make. And it's when I say it, how I say it, how you do it is what I'm picking up here. You want to move forward. You want to give up, Scorpio. You cannot give up. You either walk away. You feel me? Or if you walked away, that's fine. You either walk away or you stay and take the abuse. And I don't think anybody wants to stay and take the abuse. For some of you, you're thinking about somebody. You're thinking about somebody that you miss a lot and you've been thinking a lot. And you don't even know to move forward to this person because this person put you through hell. But at the end of the day, you're jumping over to new things. But every time you jump over to new things, it's like these are other energies that I'm picking up. It's like... You're not happy because you've been through so much shit with this person that put you through that. You, you don't, you're not happy. You could be in a group of people, you know, chilling, celebrating, having drinks, having dinner, whatever the case may be. And it's like you only think about what this person has done to you. And some of you are afraid to commit here because you think everybody is going to cheat on you like this person did. Oh, Chung, what else is here for my Scorpios? There's a lot of grief and pain here. A lot of pain. Somebody's stuck here very much in pain. You know, sadness. A lot of depression here. Oh my God, a lot of depression. You know, listen. This person is very, very dangerous. You know, this person. I'm telling you, somebody here is very stuck. Look at this. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody has been crying their eyes out. Somebody who's very depressed inside. Somebody here cannot get rid of the pain. You don't know how to get rid of the pain. This person is very destructive. This person comes in, you know, like the Knight of Swords. A person that comes in fast, you know, but not fast enough to, you know, demolish every every energy you have. I feel like everything you're trying to manifest, everything you're trying to do, you know, even gather with families is a problem with this person. I feel like even gathering with your own family is like this person claims victory. This person is a very egoistic motherfucker, female or male. It's very egoistic. A person that thinks they deserve it all, they want it all. It's like they claim victory for everything. You feel me? You know, this could be, this doesn't have to be for every Scorpio. I could be picking up on the cross watcher. I could be picking up on your person. I could be picking up on a third party, okay? But I'm picking up two energies here. You know, somebody wants to move over and just let this go. 
but you don't know how to do it. You, I feel like somebody here feels like if they move over, they're going to lose everything, everything they have. And I feel like that's breaking your heart inside. But masks are falling down here. Masks are falling down here. And they're going to come to the light. Okay? Because whatever it is that you're hurting here, Scorpio, you need to get out of this energy because you're hurting hard. You cry in silence. You know, I feel like some of you even stand in places and your tears just fall out and you have to wipe your tears because you don't want people see you crying, but the tears come out on its own. You can't hold it. This person, every, try, every time that you try to move away from this person, this person comes right in, rushing in. I'm sorry, you know, this, this is not going to happen again. And I feel like if you have children here, they're watching everything and your children are getting affected by this. I feel like a child here is going to get really, really, really tired. you got to be careful with your children because she's telling me, uh, like a child here is going to get very tired. It may be a girl, it may be a boy, it doesn't matter. There's a child here that's going to get very tired and they're going to go against whoever you're with. Whether it's their father, mother, whatever it is, they're going to go against it and it's going to be a big fight. And when I say a big fight, I'm talking about a, a physical fight. If that already didn't happen between your child and this person. It could be their own dad, their own mother, you know, a stepfather, a stepmother, whatever it is. But this person where you're going on hands with your person or is going to go on hands with your person because of everything that's going on here. It's, they're affecting them really bad. <clears throat> There's children here that are depressed. They're thinking a lot. Somebody's going to run away here, so be careful with your kids. She's telling me, se van a ir de la casa. You got to be careful if you have kids because she's telling me that a child here is going to run away from home because of the situations that are happening here. They can't take it anymore. They're suffering. Like, I feel like a lot of burdens are going on your children. If you have children or if you have small kids in the house or whatever it is, you know, siblings, whatever it is, but I'm picking up on children here. I feel like every burden that you have is going on to your children. I feel like everything that happens, somebody tells their children, don't tell your children anything. But and, and the, at the end of the day, it's like she's telling me the children are seeing everything. Somebody's going to run away here. Be careful with your children. Talk to your children. You know, try to explain to your children. You know, these are adult things that happen. And it happens, you know, not to only you but other people because the child's going to run away here. And they might get hurt. They might end up with people that are no good. It could be the perfect child and they're going to end up somewhere where it's not going to be fine. But for some energies here, you're thinking about somebody here. And you might be, I'm picking up a third energy now. Like somebody here is wanting to move away some, from somebody and you're thinking long and hard about it. And you don't know how to move away from this person. Because, you know, every time that you ask about this person, what they're doing, what they did. Somebody tells you they were here, they were there, they were doing this. And it's like suspicious to you what this person has been doing and it's like even if they're not juggling or they're juggling you want to move forward because this person's causing a lot of pain internally and physically they're causing a lot of pain if somebody met here somebody you know you're thinking long and hard about moving into this connection Okay, you want to jump into the connection, but you're afraid. You're afraid that they're going to cheat on you. You're afraid they're going to, you know, leave you. You're afraid you're going to get heartbroken, okay? Because I'm picking up like three or four energies here. Scorpio, whatever's going on here, you got to keep moving. Because, you know, what I'm picking up here, you know, mostly about these children is not good. You know, there's children that are getting hurt here. She's telling me, se van a de la casa. Some kid is going to run away here or they already run away. And it could become a pattern. And this cannot become a pattern because when children start leaving home and running away, you know, to, you know, release, you know, their problems, they think they're going to get away from the problem from home. They're going to end up in another problem and it's going to be worse for them. You feel me? So somebody has to talk with their children. Okay, but mostly I'm picking up here that, you know, it's all three energies. It's just like it's, it's fucked up. But somebody's here missing somebody a lot. And somebody here thinking about somebody that manifested. You were, you were manifesting for a long time. You stopped manifesting on this person. You did your own thing. You feel me? You jumped over. You had relationships and everything. But you still miss this person. 
but they're a cheater. But you want to go back with this person. I don't know who I'm picking up on this one, but somebody here wants to go back with somebody, and it might be a marriage. That they did something wrong, but you just want to work it out again. You're heartbroken. You are very heartbroken. The pain does not stop. It's a, You go to sleep with the pain, and you wake up with the pain. Hold on a minute. Ocho, what can Scorpio expect, whether it's past, present, or future? What else? No, she did not throw that away. I put that down. I'm sorry. She just threw the deck down. She's not, she's not, she's been mad lately since the Leo reading and now she got mad again. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let me see. You got temperance. Balance is coming into your life, okay? Just depends on you. Some sort of reconciliation is coming here with somebody. Like I said, somebody here is thinking about somebody very long and hard. You miss somebody and it's like you're thinking and overthinking and overthinking. If you should go back with this person, they cheated on you once. You don't know if they're going to do it again. You know, but there might be a reconciliation, not for everybody, but for somebody. Okay, balance is coming into your life, okay? You know, you need harmony in your life. A lot of harmony because, you know, there's a lot of drama going on here. A lot of drama going on here. If you're with somebody, if you left this person, whatever the case was, there was so much drama here. It was, you know, oh my God. There was drama here for no fucking reason. For some of your energies that I'm picking up here, drama for no fucking reason. It's, it, it was drama everywhere. Everybody was fighting you, you know, your person, whoever would come in. Even the children were fighting for no damn reason. Listen, somebody here was willing to work something out. Somebody here was trying to be truthful, but at the end of the day, they're not truthful. Somebody here is lying. Somebody here is lying to you, Scorpio, very, very much. Somebody's lying. Somebody wanted to communicate with you and say good things, but they were lying. Listen, the Ten of Swords, you're hurting really, really bad. You know, you might be ending, you know, a cycle here that no longer serves you. You might be thinking about leaving somebody here, Scorpio. You already left, but it caused you a lot of burdens. You feel me? And all you want is to build for yourself. And if you have children, you want to build for your children. But somebody is going to end something because you're hurting too much. It's just, it's just like I feel it. Your pain is so hard that you don't know what to do. But some Scorpius here are not moving forward because they need this person around them. Let me tell you something, Scorpius. If you're here with a person because you need them for whatever it is, money, you know, to maintain you, you know, because you can't do it on your own. Listen, there's no such thing. I have six kids and I did it alone, you know, with six kids. There's no such thing. You can move forward. But somebody here is very hurt. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do next. It's like they try to move forward, but something stops them. I feel like you've tried to move forward from this person, and you've ended up with this person again, knowing they're cheating, knowing they're fucking you up, you know, in every single sense of the word. I'm not saying fucking you up like physically, but there is physical abu uh, abuse here. And somebody here that you know is staying very quiet about this. Somebody here you know is... Man. Let me tell you something, Scorpius. If you don't know this, I'm going to say it here because I don't sugarcoat my shit. You got a friend here that's been dealing with your person. And I feel like intuitively you've been picking this up. If intuitively you've been picking this up, you need to check your person. It could be a best friend from a long time, from since you were kids, and you call this person family, but this person's dealing with your person. Mm -mm. My God, people are so fucked up nowadays. Let me see. What you, what is the message here for my Scorpios? What else? What else? Let me see. What is the message here for Scorpios? What else? Okay, let me see. Oh my god, there's so many. 
Scorpio, you need to keep on moving forward because somebody's very hurt here. Somebody's damaged. Even if you left somebody here or they left you, like you're still, still damaged about this. And somebody here, and I'm going to tell you like this, this is not for every Scorpio. If it doesn't fit you, just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. But there is someone here you call family. A best friend or somebody you grew up with or something like that. It could be family. It could be a friend. It could be a best friend. It could be anybody. They've been dealing with your person before I forget. You could be dealing here with a Cancer, a Virgo, you know, a Taurus, an Aquarius. A Cancer, another Taurus, a Pisces, a Gemini, an Aries. Any air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra again, Sagittarius. Leo, any water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, gaslighting, controlling, victims, somebody here is gaslighting, somebody here acts like a victim, somebody here is very controlling like I said, but somebody here acts like a victim a lot, and I feel like they're gaslighting you, or you're gaslighting somebody here, I feel like she's telling me you gaslight each other, whatever they say, you say it back, but somebody here is gaslighting very much controlling like you know when you have your victims you know usually when you want to control them you gaslight them you switch stories around you feel me like if they're doing something they'll portray it to be on you like if they're cheating they'll switch it all around and bring something up that makes it look like you're doing something wrong and then you become the victim and you think you're the victim you feel me? And then you you stay there like the victim. And you will say sorry to this person. You will beg this person. You know, and don't let that happen because gaslighting is very controllable for some people. This person's gaslighting you a lot. I'm toxic and everyone around me, but I will never say old patterns. This person's very toxic and they work in old patterns. They've all been toxic all their life with their family, with their friends, and with everybody. You want to hold me down, I'm coming for you. Somebody here is coming new, like I said. I feel like somebody's thinking about something. somebody here that you miss a lot. I feel like if you do approach this person, no matter what it was, and you want to forgive this person, they're, they're willing to hold you down again. They're willing to, you know, work things out with you. And there might be a balance and reconciliation here with a person. I used to cheat, but I haven't cheated on you. You're different. If this person's been telling you this, it's a lie. They've been cheating you the whole time. There's so, I mean, when I wrote that card, I wrote it for different reasons and a different reading. Is the energy that I'm picking up here? If they've told you they've cheated and you're, they haven't cheated because you're different, they've been cheating on you the whole time. For this energy that I'm picking up, either you're missing somebody that might have cheated one time and one time only, and you broke off. You've been doing your thing. They've been doing their thing. They might have changed, you know, because they know who you are now. They feel like they miss you too much. We've both been hurt. Let's hurt together and heal together, destiny. So somebody here from the past, like I said, you might be a soulmate connection. You might have had a soulmate connection with somebody from the past and it's destined to be together. You know, we both hurt. We've both been hurt. Let's hurt together and heal together. I feel like whoever's thinking about somebody who you miss and they miss you and it's a long, you know, it's been a long time you haven't been with this person because something fell out because somebody was caught cheating here. I feel like this person wants to hurt with you and heal with you. I feel like, you know, you belong together. It's destined. Am I crazy for feeling this deep, intense connection? They're feeling you, just like you're feeling them. And this is not for every Scorpio. This is just that energy I'm picking up. I'm paying for what I did to you. I know it. Don't know what to do. I'm going through hell. Whoever here, you left, that fucked you up, that did all this crazy shit to you, and you're no longer with this person, they're going through hell. They don't even know what to do. They're going crazy. They're paying for it. Karma's hitting their ass. You cannot trust me. You cannot trust this person. You cannot trust this person. They know you can't trust them. Commitment phobe. Somebody here is scared to commit. Somebody here is scared to commit. and they Or they probably committed and they don't even know how to have a commitment. We both know we belong together. Stop fighting it. Whoever here is missing somebody and they're missing you, they want you back. I feel so damaged and jaded. This could be for any energy here. And I feel like it's your energy too. You feel damaged. The struggle is real. No joke. Somebody's struggling here. Scorpio, this is your energy. She's telling me. Eto para Scorpio. You know, the struggle is real. 
you're struggling, Scorpio, with your emotions, with your pain, with your sorrows, with everything that's happening around you, you're struggling, and it's no joke for you. This person's putting it through a very dark energy. You could be dealing here with a Virgo. You have Virgo in your chart. I have issues with myself. It haunts me, and I would never admit it to anyone. I'd rather hurt than be hurt, damaged. That could be for you, Scorpio. That could be for the person here that did all this to you. Because when I wrote it, it could be for anybody. I have issues with myself. It haunts me. And I will never admit to any I will never admit it to anyone. I'd rather hurt than be hurt. I feel like somebody here has been damaged so much, they'd rather hurt people than to be hurt. So this person hurt you and they have issues with themselves and not you know, not you. They just hurt people because they're damaged inside. You know, and be very careful, Scorpio, not hurting anyone because you're damaged. Because some of us, you know, sometimes we'll do that and don't even realize that we're doing it. And we're just doing it because we're damaged. You feel me? Damaged people tend to do that. Okay? So, take it how it hits you. But somebody here is very, very lost in their emotions and their sadness. They cry. I mean, somebody here is going through it really, really bad. I feel like somebody here doesn't even want to do things, but they got to do things. And then when they do it, it's like, you're just, everybody can notice in your face. It's very, very bad energy I'm picking up here. This person, no matter what you do, if you stay with them or if you leave them or if you already left them, they're going to still be a whole fuckery. They, they fuck everybody in their sight. I have to say it. I can't sugarcoat it when she's here. Let me see if there's a message here for you, Scorpio. Is there a message here for Scorpio? Oh, Chung. There it is. Let me see. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Somebody who's noticing something. Somebody who's in a commitment or is dealing with a person or you were. And you, you saw the red flags, but you need to pay attention to the red flags because they're trying to show you the signs. Spiritual guides, you know, spirits, whatever it is, they're trying to show you signs that you're not paying attention to the red flags. Maybe you are paying attention, but the signs are cautioning you. Everything you're seeing and you're picking up the red flags, yes, you're correct. This person's doing a lot of things behind your back. Pay attention. Pay attention in your home. And mostly, I want to say here, whoever has children and is going through this, you need to speak to your children. Because I see a child running away here. I'm getting into trouble. In a lot of trouble. Because they're rebellious. I feel like somebody's kids is rebellious towards here. You, because of what's happening here. And they don't understand that this is, you know, things that just happen in life. I mean, I feel like they do understand, but they're not having it. You feel me? And I feel like some child is being rebellious towards a person here. A parent here. It could be you, you know, a mother, a father. It could be anyone. But they're being rebellious at some point. They're starting to do their own thing. They're going to end up in a bad place. You need to talk to your children. I'm picking up very strongly. Hold on a minute. What is the advice here, Ocho, for my Scorpios? When it comes to kids, I don't fucking play around. You know, it's just hard, you know. And I have kids, and I know what it feels like. You know, kids, they pick up a lot, man. And they don't really, they understand it, but they don't really know. You feel me? Until you sit them down. And even so, sometimes we'll keep on going, you know. Let me see. Okay. It says, strength. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. You need to forgive. You need to be kind to people. You need to get into your full strength, okay? Because, you know, your full strength, she's telling you, is needed here to, over, to overcome challenges, okay? You need to be kind to people and you need to forgive people because time is time to, it's time to embrace, okay, who you are. Eleven could be significant here for somebody else. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. They need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden and unexpected changes. You need to decide what you're going to do. Because something is going to happen very unexpected, like I said, and you're not going to know what to do. 
like I said, somebody here is thinking they don't know what to do, they don't know how to move, they don't know what to do, or they, you know, they already left this person and they're going through it. You feel me? But you need to move fast and you need to make plans and you need to see what you're going to do because something unexpected is going to happen here and you might be left out, you know, all of a sudden without knowing what to do. Okay? Unexpected changes are coming. Okay? You need to reach out to your guides and have them help you. Your ancestors, your guides, your past loved ones, you need to reach out to them to help you. If you know how to reach out to them, put candles, whatever you need to do, speak to them to help you. I feel like this person is demolishing your whole entire energy. Whatever you're trying to manifest, it's not working. They're manifesting you very bad. So you don't move forward. Scorpios. Let me see. Let me give you a, a, spirit, a, a spiritual animal. What your most spiritual animal is walking here with Scorpio? What do they need to know? Mm. What do they need to know, Chum? I don't know. She's not very into this reading. I don't know why. She gave me two. So let's read them. She gave me three. Okay, we're going to read them. It says Owl. Magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your are your birthright. Somebody who's very deceiving. <clears throat> you need to open your eyes and notice this and do it on your own. You got the eagle. Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You're guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. You need to throw your wisdom out there. And everything here is saying let the past go. Somebody here is very deceitful. A friend here is deceitful or a family member. But this person is a very deceiving, conniving motherfucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It could be a male. It could be a female. But everything here. Everything here that Ochoa is telling you to do, my, you know, my di my deity, your ancestors, the guys that are here, everything is to leave the past and keep on moving and do it on your own. Personal choice. Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they? Oh my God, I've never seen this one. I like this one. It says personal choice. Close your eyes. What animal do you want to imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. So imagine whatever animal you want to uh, imagine. Know their strengths and what an embrace. Imagine it. Look up for an animal that you like. It might give you an answer there that you need to know. Whatever animal you like, whatever it is. It could even be, you know, a bee, a bug. It doesn't matter. Animals are animals. Even insects. You know, look up for, imagine an animal, whichever one you like, look for that animal and you might get an answer that you're looking for. Or you might be seeing an animal all the time. You feel me? Just take out a hit to the C first, middle, last initial. That came out on its own. It's an O. It could even be nicknames, okay? So let's see. Now, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I like to leave some. Okay, you got a G here. You got an A. You got a D. You got an H, which is also an I. You got another um, I, which is also an H. You got an L. You got a P. You got an O. You got another H-I, very significant here, <clears throat> for somebody's initials or nickname. You got an S. You got a Q. You got another H. That's a straight H. You got an A. You got an N, which could also be a Z. And you got another A. Okay, so you got three A's here. And you got four IHs, so let's flip. I'm going to flip these two first, IHs, see what I can get you. 
I-H. It wants to stay. Very significant here. I-H for somebody's uh, name or nickname. You got an E. I'm going to flip this I-H right here. See what I can get you. You got a G. So you got double G already. Okay, so let me flip these three A's. You got three A's, so I'm going to flip these two and see what I can get you. You got another A. And you got an F. So, okay, P-L-O-S-Q. You got two A's here. I'm going to flip this A. I'm going to flip this G. And uh, that's it. Let me see what I can get you. You got a K. And you got another E. Okay. So, Scorpios, I wish you the best of luck. I love you all. And I'll see you later, my loves.